All right, what's up guys? We're on SoFi earnings here. So I wanted to go through um, the technicals, but also, you know, I, I think the fundamentals here are very clearly important. And, you know, what I'm seeing from quarter one is that they are actually slowing down a little bit here. So look at these, uh, this uh, full year 2024 number. This is quarter one. And what you'll notice is that um, the member growth products, lending products, financial services products, are all dropping a little bit here you can see you know this number is dropping to about 6.8 percent um and you know this is growth numbers obviously it's still increasing but we are seeing sort of a slowdown in um the i guess this is the member growth and their product growth as well here so you know the interesting thing is that they are just starting to ramp up here in quarter two for their advertising you can see that they have a lot of deals with um the golfing league and, and the nba as well here so i think what we are gonna see is that these metrics are gonna improve further on in the year i kind of expected this but i didn't expect it to suddenly slow down to this extent but the good thing is that they were able to keep up profitability which is very important you can see that they have a two cents um you know reported earnings which is not a lot but it still beat the analyst estimate of 186%. Now, I'm going to say, I did not expect the uh, street to, you know, react in such a horrible manner to the earnings. I expected more of a pop. Turns out that was not the case. Um, I wanted to wait until the end of the day, but at this point, I think it has been concluded and I don't think Wall Street likes these numbers. I don't think they like the uh, quarter that slowed down a little bit, but I think eventually they will be surprised once the advertising actually kicks in. We have the NBA and the TGL here um, coming in, I would assume in quarter two and then onwards, I think it will start growing all the way until quarter four. And I actually expect SoFi to actually do well based on their growth um, further on in the year. But I think this was a bad quarter. I think this was, you know, came at a pretty bad time. And, you know, for people who I, I guess actually do like uh, DCFs, this is probably not good to see a slowdown in their growth. Now, I do think, you know, they were um, very optimistic in their guidance. And this was what we actually want to see. You know, they were saying that their financial services net revenue um, is supposed to grow um, more than 75% versus 2023 now there is some i guess you know manipulation in the words here you can look at it how you want um but they seem to be very very optimistic on their numbers here for their guidance so that is a good thing theoretically the other you know the the only downside to that is whether wall street actually you know believes them and that is just i, I guess something else to look at and you know just from a technical point of view um i would say it's probably concluded. I, I think this is the end of this uh, earnings pop here. We are probably not going to see anything much. Um, unfortunately, so far is a stock that doesn't move until the next quarter. Okay, so it's, it's very, very unfortunate because I actually wanted to sell some of this to get into other positions. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get that chance. And um, I'm, I'm going to have to wait for another two quarters here, which is going to be, you know, it's it's probably gonna be dead money, guys. I'm 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 not sure how else to say it, but um, as long as the you know um, advertising kicks in and and they and they manage to grow, then they'll probably get out of this range. But so far, it's gonna trade between I I would say under seven and then eight fifty. Okay, so you know one strategy I would formulate is that whenever it goes under seven, um, you can just buy cash account puts because so far, um, $7 is still gonna be the, the base here. It's gonna be the very heavy support at seven, um, unless something bad comes with the, with the banking sector, which is honestly just probably not gonna happen. And even if it does, they are not gonna be able to predict something bad that's gonna happen, okay? So $7 is gonna be the base here. Um, cash account puts will be one strategy. I'm not sure if I will implement that because I'm I'm still like balls deep in SoFi. Um, so I, I think just personally, um, until I start working again, I'm not gonna buy SoFi. You know, if I if I get good trades here, I'm not gonna put it back into SoFi because they're still gonna have to wait for another two quarters of growth. Okay, so it's gonna take a very long time for SoFi, and you, and you really just need to have 
patience in this stock here. And I know there are a lot of fundamentalists covering this stock here. Um, I, I would I would actually say it's not that much different from something like an Enovix. It's not that much different from a company that is pre-revenue. So just keep that in mind. This can stay here for a very, very long time. And, you know, we did not get a pop up to 10 bucks. Um, I think for this support line, it's probably going to continue to extend. I think it's probably going to continue to extend all the way down. Um, you know, you can call this nine bucks. As long as SoFi stays here, you know, above seven. Um, and, you know, we're probably not going to hit this uh, resistance anytime soon. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, I want to go through some other stuff as well here. Yes. Okay. So, you know, there's like the 2026 cap calls that uh, Anthony Noto is going to receive. Um, you know, 2026, still two years away. If you can't wait that long, we'll see how much uh, SoFi appreciates. I don't think it's going to get to 25 by the end of the year. Um, yeah, so cap calls at 1450 is for the uh, deal they just made here. So, uh, you know, 1450 by the end of the year. I think that's possible if their um, advertising actually accelerates their growth by a significant amount. Um, but they still to be determined here. And I think the last thing I want to look at is just some Twitter stuff. So we have, you know, Brad Freeman here. Um, just one thing, you know, they're probably going to beat all the time. I think at this point, Wall Street expects this. So this is not going to, you know, um, boost the stock price in any way. I think once again, this is just expected. So they're going to beat, sure. But, um, you know, Wall Street is going to expect a beat. That's not going to mean anything to them here. So um, the other thing is also like, you know, their, their business side of the, the, the business side of the stock. So that's the, that's the stock price. And then there's the business, right? The business is still growing. The business is fine. Um, the stock price is going to be beaten down, but so far it's not going to go anywhere. They are going to be, you know, not going bankrupt here. So there's no issues there. It's just the problem of, um, you know, people who hold the stock are probably not going to see an appreciation anytime soon. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see revenue still growing. Um, it's, it's not going to stop. It's just that they slowed down a little bit this quarter and what i would expect for the next few quarters is that their advertising is going to kick in and that is going to increase their member growth and also you know i guess some of their product as well um i think kelly if we can if i can find it made a very good point here earlier um that you know robin hood is just growing faster than so far i'm sorry guys you know robin hood is a huge huge position of mine um Hood is still growing faster and, you know, Crossroads, you know, points out a very good point. Is it sustainable? Um, you know what? Probably not now that I think of it because, um, you know, most of it was driven by that 3% match on that IRA, IRA, right? So it's probably not going to be sustainable, but it's just something to point out that Hood was growing faster this quarter as compared to SoFi. And yeah, we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait um, two, two, three quarters at this point here. So very very unfortunate i know tj made a lot of money on options i am not in the options camp here um still in the stock camp and it's not gonna do very well and you know that's just my thoughts on sofi um i guess i'm holding this shit. okay yeah see you in the next one